Hello, good morning. It's my thought for the day. I've just been watching Lee, 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 Leanne Shu. She's doing a live this morning, so I'm a little bit late. But don't forget to check her out. That's her channel, that is. Now, so many thoughts go through your mind. I suppose. Uh, sometimes they take a little while to come to the surface in a coherent manner. Just like um, you can bang my head, well I can bang my head against the wall sometimes trying to get through. The simple message that the Philippines is all about understanding the way things really are. If you can imagine just for one minute that as an example in Australian money which is around 38 pesos to the dollar you're considered earning quite good money if you earn $12 a day. That's about just under $500 uh, pesos a day. And therefore, if you work that out over a, maybe a five or six day a week, if you work for a big company, it's usually only five days a week. Some insurance companies or banks ask their employees to work six days a week. So if it's five days a week, that's 2000 500 pesos per week. Now for 2,500 pesos a week, that person has to clothe herself, himself, herself. They have to provide food, not only for themselves, but probably also for a child, if they're a single mum. They also then have to pay to go to work and come back. And obviously have to have something to eat during the day. What is left out of that money each day is really can only be described in Western terms as a pittance. And they do that religiously every day of the week. And you guys out there who decide that you want to marry this lady, you want to get to know her. So what do you do? You probably send her, I don't know, maybe 15, 20,000 pesos, maybe even 30 per month to help her out. Now. Of course, what you're doing is sending her nearly four times her annual income. Sorry, monthly income. Every month. So, you put, in a way, an, un, an unexpected pressure upon her. Be and when I say a pressure, because not only is she earning her own 10,000 pesos a month. She's now earning 40,000 pesos a month. If I say to you that maybe you're earning, say, $2,000 a week, that's $8,000 a month. And I said to you that I'm going to give you $40,000 a month. How do you think that would affect your life? Well, of course we know it would be absolutely mind-boggling. So, of course, what happens is you send this money to them and being the generous person and the good nature of the person that you intend to want to marry, she starts helping others less fortunate than herself. It's they see it as a blessing. It almost, well it is a religious term. It is a blessing upon them. And the family, no doubt, 
have part of that blessing as well. Now, if you can afford to send that kind of money, no one's going to complain that you're doing it. But by doing so, when you finally arrive, what do you do then? Because are you going to make her stop work? Are you going to take away the skill that she has already and insist that she now becomes, in a sense, your wife and maid? Because if you are, are you really doing her a good service? Because yes, there'll be times when you feel that you want to help her. How can you best help her? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, she will be probably buying load for her telephone so she can chat to you. You realize that she only has to buy maybe a hundred pesos every few days to, in, to get an unlimited amount of data so she can talk to you. Now, it's only fair that you, that's coming out of her salary. So I would be thinking, well, I'm going to send her maybe 500 pesos a week. Because by doing so, you make sure that she has sufficient for her load to talk to you. And it also any extra money can go into her pocket to buy extra food. Or maybe another pair of panties for her daughter or son. But to send five, maybe even 10,000 pesos every few weeks is really too much to send somebody. Because if you're not there, it's going to be used to donate to others, less fortunate even than herself, maybe a family member. Now, that's okay when you think that the love that she gives by way of your blessing becomes her blessing to them. But by doing so, you make an expected amount of money to suddenly come into the family. Now what happens if maybe it doesn't work out with you? It's been a temporary fix to a problem that she really didn't have in the first place. Yes, she wants to talk to a foreigner, maybe to step up in the world, but did she plan on receiving money every week on top of her salary? I don't really think she did. And they do feel very embarrassed to accept that money. But nobody in their right mind would say no. So, whilst you have all this money that you can send while you're working, maybe getting extra money from little jobs you do in the West, just remember that splashing out and giving money to your girlfriend not only really is it, it's maybe being too generous at a time when you need to concentrate on the relationship. Yes, there'll be times when maybe you've heard things she said, hopefully for genuine reasons, that you offer to send her something extra to help her. But just remember, she's earning in a very good job, 500 pesos a day. So when you send 5,000, you just sent 10 days worth of money. How often does anybody give you 10 days extra pay? You don't even get it for holiday pay. So, unless it's an emergency that is genuinely there, and never once has she asked you for money, it's up to you, obviously, whether you give her that. But please, don't get in the habit of sending large amounts of money to your Filipino girlfriend. Because in the end, it's not helping, not, it's not really even helping her. And it's certainly not helping you when you finally come to live here in the Philippines with your Filipina. Because you're setting the stage for a catastrophe 
She's going to think that money no problem. My sweetheart will get me anything I want. And that's the wrong message we need to send to them. If we can give a helping hand, a helping hand, now and again, but don't make it stupid amounts. Make it a very small, modest amount. Filipinas enjoy the thrill of anything. And therefore, you must always think a small gold coin is better than a bag of gold coins. Because the blessing that you give them is received in the same way as if it were a small piece of bronze coin, if you get my meaning. Just give it a bit of thought. Realize the value of everybody's day here. Everybody's day is different than ours. When we sit there and say, oh, I used to earn $400 a day. Really? 16,000 in one day? Yes, we can overseas, but unthought of here, and therefore it's mind-boggling to them. So please think before you try and be too generous at the expense of the relationship you're trying to form. How can you expect somebody to be frugal when the supply of money is unlimited? You can't be frugal unless you are being frugal. Where you get down to your last 50 pesos, or maybe your last 10, and make a decision as to what you spend it on. We don't have that situation generally ourselves, but they do every day. So please, guys overseas, think carefully before you shower your lady with cash. Don't be in a rush to buy her the latest iPhone. Don't be in a rush to pay all the hospital bills. Maybe donate some, but not all. How can life go on like it was before you came along? You're not the saving grace of every family that you come across. And you will have your heartstrings pulled. So just think before you jump. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And I hope it's not negative and that you have a good day. Bye now.